why you don't need a degree for many of the best paying jobs. Now, obviously some of the best paying jobs, surgeons, doctors, lawyers, they just have to go to university. There's no way around that. And just forget about it if, you, um, if, <laughs> if you've got any other notions in your head. But technology, which is what I focus on, absolutely is available in abundance to people without uh, traditional qualifications, without formal qualifications. And all you really need is a strategy for getting into it. Why is that? The reason is very simple. Technology departments and businesses generally provide the biggest ROI. Furthermore, technology companies, so I'm talking about companies whose product is a technology product rather than just companies who have a website or the uh, software department of their business. They are um, the areas that make the business most efficient. They are the areas where whenever a project is done, if it's, been, um, if it's based on sensible foundations at least, the theory behind why the project was necessary is correct. More so than almost any other department available, they can scale it in a way that you just don't get to do in other teams. For example, you cannot invest in your accountancy team um, let's say double your accountancy team spend and get a 10x ROI on that. You're going to get a double ROI on that because it requires a person. Now maybe they can run off a few more automation processes but more or less you will get um, multiples of what you invest and although it varies from team to team it's, it's generally in that kind of a ratio. Technology, if you have a website and you invest uh, increase the, the people working in that technology department by 10, you could easily get a 100x increase in ROI from that investment because the thing with technology is it scales. So why can you get into it without a degree? There is um, huge profits to be made in, by companies investing in this. Then on top of that, there is a complete shortage of people with the specialities, with the competency, and in many cases with the intelligence to even work in those departments. So if you can present yourself, and I have seen this so many times, to a hiring manager, um, they will look at you at face value. They will look past any kind of a background. They will look past any lacking of education. I've worked in tech teams where guys had done, uh, guys had done time in jail and they weren't able to get work anywhere else, um, but they managed to go learn some coding or, or some element related to technology and they they were hired and they were getting big big money I've met so many guys who've never gone to university but they spent a bit of time learning a skill in their spare time and were able to demonstrate it and um, that is the key being able to demonstrate it obviously techherds.com our website has a 10-step guide it's not the only way to do it there's lots of other websites on the internet you could go to as well but the the main message for this video is if you're sitting in a slump and a little bit disillusioned with how much money you're making or maybe just your day-to-day -day, maybe you're bored maybe you feel like you're doing nothing important maybe you've got no pride in your work well hop on over to techherds.com read our 10-step guide or start googling it because there's plenty of other people um, like me who will vouch for the fact that this um, career trajectory is open to anyone and it doesn't have to take very long. Our 10 steps, if approached in the right way, it can be 10 steps in 10 weeks. There's, there's other alternatives but there is many ways to do this, to go from zero to hired in three to four months, even if you don't want to go with techherds.com. But please do.